All right, Carolina Varsity here with uh, East Mac head coach Barry Shuford. Uh, coach, how'd your offseason go uh, this year? Went really great. You know, um, at the end of last season, we probably had seven, eight kids at bench 200 pounds, and we've now at 37 at the end of the year. Our okay. team speed came down. Um, so we felt real good. Had uh, Our numbers are up a little bit. Still not where they need to be, but we're still waiting on a few freshmen to come out that you know are still used to the – to the come out when school starts deal. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we got a few <laughs> stragglers. But off-season-wise, spring ball went well, and uh, our kids have worked hard in the weight room. We got, actually had two kids this summer that made 30, 38 workouts. Oh, man. Which means they missed one. Wow. They came twice a day, and it was a it was a good deal. So we're real excited. That's great, man. So you're in your third year here, right? Correct. Okay. So everywhere you've been, you've – Kind of turn programs around, starting back with, uh, I think, Bessemer City. Mm -hmm. And then you went to Parkwood and Garinger and on down the line. What is the formula for uh, turning around these programs? The far formula is hard work, consistency, you know, having a good staff, which I've got a good staff right now. Um, you know, those type things, building a strong weight program, getting some money infused into the into the system so you can have nice things and all those things are is a part of it you know I, I don't I don't know if it's a special secret or a genie in a bottle or whatever other than the hard work installing a system not changing offense week to week not changing defense you know a lot of times you know you see we used to see it in, the, in over in the Mecca a lot it was offense or defense of the week you know what yeah. you saw on film for two weeks you didn't see the next week and uh you know, having some consistency, building that, getting players in the right positions. I think we've done a really good job over my career getting kids that, okay, one step slow to play tight end, but they would probably make a good offensive tackle in our system. And that right. kind of thing, getting them, our, our linebackers that are a step slow going down and playing defensive end. So I think that's a, that's a major key is identifying those strengths and weaknesses early and getting kids in the right place. That's great. That's great. Uh, so, talk about some of your key players you got coming up for this season. Okay. Um, we'll start on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, T.J. Elliott is a, uh, will be a senior. He has made all conference all three years previously. Oh, and okay. that's pretty tough in the Southwestern as a ninth grader to make the yeah. uh, linebacker. Wow. Um, he has averaged close to 90 tackles a year for his career. Uh, I would say probably is a leading career tackler of, you know, I don't have good stats here, career stats like we did over the Olympic, because I could actually mm -hmm. say that. But um, I, I think he probably is a good team leader, smart kid, 5-0 GPA. Oh, wow. Uh, so, you know, he's a, he'll be a stalwart. All of our linebackers actually are returning. Um, okay. They're all seniors, uh, C.J. Rucker and uh, also Tyler McCall, which had great years last year. So that's a, that's a strength of our team, of our football team. Chris Allen is a defensive end. He's made all conference twice. Okay. Um, will be a senior. So you know we've got a lot of a lot of kids up front that are really good. Our back end is a little bit uh, uh, more secure, more depth than we had last year. I don't know if we're as good, but I think we'll be better. Trey Hodge uh, returns back there as a safety who led to Southwestern and maybe all of Charlotte picks last year with seven or eight. Okay. So um, you know we're real excited about that group. It's a little bit different group. They're not as not as quite as big as they were last year. Mm -hmm. we, we lost some beef in the middle, but uh, I think they're quicker and stronger. So it'll be a little bit different look, but uh, we feel real good about that group. Right. Uh, offensively, our, our, you know, when I first came first year, we started seven freshmen the first year. Oh, and you were gonna take some lumps, but you know, our quarterback is, uh, this will be his junior year, and he's taken every snap since I've been here as, you know, as a starter. Mm -hmm. um, Khalil Gilliam. Uh, six three, two hundred pounds, big kid. Uh, we have not thrown the ball as well as we like, but you know mm -hmm. we gotta have people to catch it. So you right. know, sometimes running the football for us is an advantage in our game plan. But again, we don't want to waste a down and it be second and ten or third and ten, and then we're in bad shape and we get in third and ten. We're we're not a good third and ten football team. Right. Um, the other kid that started every game also is Kamal Howard, who is a running back who is. Uh, Done well, improves his, his uh, strength. He's a 200-pound kid. Again, made all-conference last year and was Offensive Player of the Year in our conference. Again, that's a, that's a statement as a sophomore kid. Oh, yeah. Uh, rushed for, I think, 11, almost 1,200 yards last year, maybe. Um, so those two kids, we have a veteran offensive line coming back. Um, 
It's small oh. starters. They're all coming back. We moved some people around. Um, Matthias Poku Can Cam is probably our leader in that group playing offensive guard and, and and you know as well as anybody, our offensive guards are, are our – Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Our, our, <laughs> you know, I used to tell the kids at Parkwood, they'd say, my dad says I'm a fullback. I said, well, our fullbacks line up between the center and the tackle. So, <laughs> they leave on every play. If, you, if there's a scoring touchdown that, that, that Dale or somebody takes a picture of, one of those offensive guards probably in the picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know, those are, those are uh, keys for us. So, we're still looking for some help at uh, – Wide receiver, we got a couple new kids out. We hope they can fill the bill, but we, we're not quite ready to talk about them yet. So we'll see gotcha. if they can, they can help us out. And we hope that we can at least play action and throw the ball deep some this year that, that you know, we either run the wrong route or we ran the wrong place or we dropped the football last year. And, you know, again, mm-hmm. that's a big part of our football game and yeah. it was missing last year. So what? Last question, Coach. What, what's your goal for this year, realistically, for this team? Realistically, you always want to do better than you did in the past season. So we were six and six last year, um, finished four to two in the conference in the third seed. So you know, mm-hmm. if you're saying, okay, let's do better, then then you look to, you know, they've done away with the seeding process except for number one, right? But to improve our conference record and uh, improve our overall record to to get off to a little bit better start than we did last year. You know, mm-hmm. we were. We were 0 and 3. Played some tough teams. You know, you, your schedule, sitting around playing teams that are ranked in the top 25 or this poll or that poll. You know, you're playing South Mac and you're playing Providence and you're playing Myers Park and Butler. And you know, your first two conference games are Independence and Butler and follow up oh, the Rocky right. River. And it's like, yeah, that's tough. okay. So you know, we hope that we can get it in and compete and, and do well and play well in the conference and go back to the playoffs and have a better record than we did last year. That sounds great, Coach. Uh, I, we're expecting big things from you. We got we got you ranked number eight in our little poll that we do, and uh, we appreciate the time, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you, Matt.